right, Algebra 1, Lesson 83. This one is on coin problems. Now, this one actually is something you will use or you can use in everyday life, so it'll be kind of cool. Okay, you know how you have been learning things like this, um, and you haven't known why equals something, mm -hmm. okay? That's what we're going to be learning today, but we're actually going to use um, numbers and dimes and nickels and quarters um, for this to make sense. So, for example, here's what it says. Jack and Betty have 28 coins that are nickels and dimes. So, I'm going to write down some key information. They have 28 coins, and those are nickels and dimes. Okay? Then it says this. If the value of the coins is... $1.95. That's how much um, it, it um, amounts to. How many coins of each type do they have? How many coins of each do they have? Okay, that's what we're going to be answering. And um, using the methods that we kind of learned previously, but we're actually going to put um, make sense from it. Okay? So, you're going to come up with two different um, equations, okay? So this n, n is going to be the number of nickels, okay? Okay, And then this n, d is the number of dimes, okay? So the first equation we're going to come up with is from the information they gave us at first. Mm -hmm. We have 28 coins and it's nickels and dimes. So I have nickels plus dimes, a number of nickels, plus a number of dimes that we don't know much, that equals how many? 28 coins. Okay? That's going to be your very, very first equation. Okay? And now we're going to come up with a second one. And the way you come up with the second one is you tell me the dollar amount or how much each dime or nickel is worth. So nickels are worth five. So we're going to say five nickels, mm -hmm. plus dimes are worth 10, number of dimes, and then um, since we're doing price and price, so this, this is 5 cents and 10 cents, this is $1.95, and since this is in how many pennies it makes up, look right here, mm -hmm. 5 nickels are 5 pennies, I mean, I'm sorry, a nickel is 5 pennies and a dime is 10 mm -hmm. pennies, well how much is this in pennies? $1.95 is... 195 pennies. Yeah. You see what we're doing? Yeah. So 5 pennies equals a nickel, 10 pennies equal a dime, and $1.95 equals 195. Mm -hmm. Okay? So these are the two equations we're going to use. Now, in the past, we did two different methods. Substitution and elimination. Okay? And I'm going to show you how to do both of them on this. Okay? So substitution means I would try to get in n equals whatever, or in d equals whatever. Mm -hmm. So we want to answer for n n or n d. And yes. since n n's right here, I'm just going to say n n equals, and then we'll try to figure out what n n equals. Yes. So n n n n equals 28, and then this plus n d we're trying to move. Across the equal minus sign. ND. So N N equals 28 minus N D. You're exactly right. So we have an answer. N N equals. So um, I'm going to try to take all this away off here. Just because we know that part right now. Now, so if we know that N N equals this, then guess what we're going to do? We're actually going to put N N equals this. We're going to put it substitute. That's the one we're working on now inside this NN. Mm -hmm. Okay, so watch what I do. 5, and then this NN is 28 minus ND. Okay? And since this is 5 times that, I have to make this 5 multiply by all of this. Yeah. That's why I'm putting it in parentheses, because mm -hmm. 5 has to multiply all of this. And then, um, okay, so I put 5N plus 10 in D equals 195. Now we just work the problem, okay? So 5 times 28 is 140. Minus, and this is, um, I'm going to put a plus negative. 
So 5 times a negative, and I'm going to put a 1 there just because it makes it easier. So 5 times negative 1 would be um, negative 5 in D. Now I'm going to change this. So this would be um, plus a negative. Okay, instead of doing minus like I was going to do minus there, mm -hmm. now I'm just doing a plus negative. So this would be plus negative. Okay, good. Now, plus 10 in D equals 195. Now, I'm going to get all my NDs on one side and all my numbers on the other. So I'm going to move this plus um, 140 and make it minus 140, or you could do a negative 140, however you want to see it. Okay? All right. And now, uh, 195 minus 140, that equals 55 equals. Okay? And then this negative 5 in D plus a 10 in D gives me 5 in D when I add those like terms. Got it? Mm -hmm. So then this says 5 times what equals 55. And so this times 5, I'm going to divide by 5. And so in D equals 11. Okay, so now guess what? I'm going to take my in D answer and put it back in here. So if in D is 11, then what is the in in? Well, what blank plus 28, or blank plus 11 equals 28, then all we do is go 28 minus 11, and we know that it's 17. So, in in equals 17, and in D equals 11. So, we answer our question. How many nickels um, are they using? 17, and how many dimes are there? 11, and by the time we finish it all out, that's um, we would get it correct. Okay? So N N is 17 and N um, N D is 11. Okay? Mm -hmm. Which is all we wanted to know. Okay? So that's one method. Alright? And then the next method I'm going to show you is um, elimination. So let's do an elimination one. I'm going to try to get rid of all this. Okay. So if I was using the um, elimination method um, let me write that back up. N, N, plus N, D equals 28. Remember this? Okay. Remember that? Okay. Sorry about the B. No worries. Okay. Now, so, that was the substitution method. Now we're going to do the elimination method. Pay attention. Okay. And elimination means that we're going to try to eliminate something. Okay. And, um... I am going to use a negative 5 to multiply all of this by. Because then that will give me a positive and a negative uh -huh. here, and I can eliminate an NN. Okay, so for example, if I take and multiply, let's put a 1 in there. If I take and multiply a negative 5 times this, a negative 5 times this, and a negative 5 times this, that's going to help me. So let's go ahead and do that. Negative 5 times this makes it a negative 5 in N plus negative 5 in D equals a negative 5 times 28. Did I just do that? I did. Um, negative 140. Okay? You with me? Mm -hmm. Alright, so now I'm going to take this away. And now we have a problem where we can eliminate. Okay? And what that means is I'm going to add each of these. Do you remember doing this? Yes. It's probably a long yes. time ago. but Okay, so negative 5 plus a positive negative 5 gives me nothing. nothing. So this is 0 in n, which means that we don't even have to write it or have it. Okay? So that eliminates that. But negative 5 plus a 10 makes it a 5 in D. And then negative 40 plus um, a 195, which really is going to be minusing it, it's going to give us 55. And guess what we have? Pretty much the same problem we just did. Okay, so then this says 5 times what equals 55? And so we know since this is times 5, it's divided by 5. So ND equals 11. Mm -hmm. Okay, same problem we just did, just two different ways you can do it. And then you put this back into the problem that we had a while ago where it said NN plus ND equals 28. We would put ND in, whoops, ND in 11 plus, and then this would give us what NN is because we know 11. And so we know that N is the 17. Okay? So there's two different ways you can do it. Um, both of them end up with the same result. 
Um, but they're just going to teach you how to do it. Sometimes they may say, use elimination to figure this out or use substitution to figure this out. Okay? Now, I want you to pay attention on these next two examples, not actually doing the problem, but setting them up. So, pay attention to this one. It says, Ming has $4.45 in quarters and dimes. Okay, quarters and dimes. And here's an important thing they say. She has eight more quarters, I'm just going to put Q's, than dimes. Okay? And then how many coins of each type does she have? Ask the same questions. Okay. So again, let's take, um, now it doesn't tell us how many coins um, they have total. So we can't say NN plus ND equals 28 like the last one. Okay. So what we have to do is let's go on and start. Let's take the information we do know about. Remember how we take the amount? Yeah. Well, we're working with quarters and dimes. So I'm going to say, uh, since a quarter is worth 25, I'm going to say 25 number of quarters plus uh, dimes, 10 numbers of dimes equals that price, $4.45, which is 445 pennies, 10 pennies, 25 pennies. See what I did? Mm -hmm. Each of them equals the amount. 25 pennies, 10 pennies, 445 pennies. Yep. And that's, that's all this information that we need. Mm -hmm. But this next one, she has eight more quarters than dimes. This one's kind of hard. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to do this. So do you remember how it says eight more of something? Okay, mm -hmm. so plus eight. What is this plus eight for? Um, it's for the number of dimes, and I'm going to show you why. Because... Um, the number of quarters equals the number of dimes plus eight. Yes. Are you with me? Yes. So we have a number of dimes, which we don't know how many, but we know that eight more, it's eight more um, that, that equals the quarters mm -hmm. amount. Yeah. So this is how you would write that. Okay? The number of quarters, and it might even be e easier to say this, the number of quarters equals, what is the number of quarters equals? Eight more than the number of dimes. To me, this one kind of makes more sense to write it like this. You're both basically saying the same thing. It's just rewritten differently. Mm -hmm. The number of quarters equals eight more than the number of dimes. Okay? So you can do it however you want, either one of those. But regardless, this helps us come up with our equations. Okay? And now you would use your substitution or elimination method. Okay? Mm -hmm. And if you want to go back and watch that, how you would do that, you can. Um, for something like this, I would go on and since MQ, I know, actually I think this one tells us to use substitution, which that's the one I would have chosen anyway because we already have MQ equals something. So I would just take this MQ and put it into this spot in parentheses. You yeah. see? Yes. Okay, so um, I'm going to go on and work that right now. All right, so this MQ, I'm going to put ND plus 8. Okay? Now, I'm going to go and work this out. So, 25 in D plus 25 times 8 is 140. And then plus 10 in D equals 445. Okay? And now, we want to get our NDs on one side and our numbers on the other. So, we're going to take this plus 140 and bring it across minus 140. And then I have 25 in D plus 10 in D, which gives me 35 in D. D, and then let's see, 445 minus 140, 305, and then 305 divided by 35 is um, 9 maybe, 9 times 5 is 45, approach 9 31. Ah, went out a little bit. Let's try 8, 8 times 5 is 40, let's try 7, 7 times 5 is 30. Anyway, let's divide that real quick. <laughs> 305. Did you get an answer yet for that one? No. Okay. Uh, so, actually, I think I did the math wrong on that one. 445. Uh, oh, 25. I was thinking of the last problem. 25 times 8 is actually uh, 4. Uh, let's just do that. 25 times 8. 8 plus 5 is 40. 
16, 17, 19, 20. 200. No wonder I was wrong. Okay, so this 140, I'm actually going to tell you. My bad. I was thinking about the last problem and I thought we already got the answer. Okay, now that's going to be better. <laughs> so now I'm going to minus 200 and that gives me 245. And now when I say 35 times in D, this is times 35 is going to be divided by 35. And then in D equals uh, ND equals 7. Okay? So now that I know that ND equals 7, all right, um, ND equals 7, then I use the information that I had earlier. NQ equals NQ equals ND plus 8. And I know that ND is 7. So then 8 plus 7 is 15. So then I know my NQ is 15. My ND is 7. See how we did that? Mm -hmm. All right, help me come up with this last one using the information. Okay, I'm going to let you do this one completely. Orlando had a hoard of 22 nickels and dimes. 22 nickels and dimes. Whose value was $1.35. How many coins of each type does he have? Okay, do you remember what we did on this last one? Yeah, you have the... <coughs> you do... We know that we have 22 nickels and dimes. Yeah. So I take the number of nickels Which is... plus the number of dimes, and I have 22 of them. Mm -hmm. It'd be five so I don't know how many nickels and I don't know how many dimes, but I know there's 22. And how do I do the second equation? Um, the 130, 135, it equals 135. Okay, and do you remember what we did for the nickels? It's t 5, five and plus because 10 and we're doing the amount. 5 and so n plus 5 10 10 nickels and 10, since dimes are 10 pennies, 10 pennies, 5 pennies, 135 pennies. And then you set it up. And this time they're wanting us to do the elimination method. Mm -hmm. What would I do? You could use 5. Yeah. Actually, times by five, yeah. Negative five. Negative five, yeah. Because I have to get an opposite of this. So this is negative five times all of that. So when I apply it to that, it's going to be negative five n n plus negative five n and d. Yeah. Um, equals and then negative twenty. Let's see if I can just ten. One hundred and twenty. One hundred and ten. Yeah. One hundred and ten. Negative. Okay. So now. That I've got that information. Remember, on the elimination method, you add. Mm -hmm. So this negative five n n and this no. positive five n n erases that. Five and then negative five n d plus ten becomes five n d. And then one hundred ten negative five negative one hundred ten plus one hundred twenty five or one hundred thirty five would be twenty five, right? Mm -hmm. So then this says five times what equals twenty five. And so this is five. times five divided by five. five. N equals 5. Mm -hmm. Okay? And now you just put your information back in. If ND equals 5, what was my NN plus ND equals 22? Right? Mm -hmm. That was my original. So mm -hmm. ND is 5. And it's 17. So this would be 17. So NN is 17. Got it? Mm -hmm. That's less than 83.